All right, next, I was mistaken in the end of the last video. We're actually gonna take the gas tank off next and the fuel filler neck and the evaporation can canister and lastly, the fuel filter. Now, if you wanna keep the evap, then you need to keep the line that goes all the way up to the front, which I will. Uh, if most of you probably know, if you don't use the evaporation canister, typically you're gonna smell gas in your garage when the car's sitting here. Uh, that evap canister helps collect those fumes and you don't smell them. Your family and your wife would probably appreciate it, but if you're like me, you like the smell of gasoline anyway. But I will be using the evap canister because I think it goes well with the modular engine. So for this episode, we're gonna concentrate on getting that tank down, fuel neck off, and fuel filter. So we'll start right now with the... Hey, the key's in it, nice. How unusual. We'll start right here by opening up the gas tank, relieve any pressure, and let's get it off. Now when you know it, you gotta get back in the trunk to get to this. And of course, I had all the stuff from the interior back here. Now it's all back in the interior, which is fine because you gotta get to the shock top mounts over there anyway. So here's our fuel filler neck. We're gonna remove these 5 16 screws here. And then I think that's a 10 millimeter and start working our way out of it. Disconnect these lines underneath. Got all in your eyes. Okay, we got this 5 16 little bracket we gotta take off here too to get the hard line fuel neck out of the tank. And I got a rag here ready to stick in there. You should get it. All right, I'm about to give up on this fuel neck because this thing, the Chilton's manual says you have to cut this grommet off, but I'm gonna go just go ahead and drop the tank and hopefully this will fit through. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. So we're gonna undo these two bolts. We're gonna put a jack under here, lower it enough to disconnect the fuel lines and then the line from the fuel filter. We should be able to drop the tank. Should a 0.5 to get a view of this. This is a 13 millimeter. And now we got the tank dropped down a little bit. We're gonna disconnect these evap lines and then get up in there and disconnect those fuel lines over there. That's the fuel tank down. Once you get that fuel line off, sure enough, when you drop it, the fuel neck will not go through that hole. So then you have to pull the fuel neck off and it comes right out. But so there it is, tank dropped. Just gonna jump in there and get that fuel filter. And real quick back here, this strap has a pin that goes through it and it's real loose. You just push it up, slide the pin out, pull the strap down. Pretty simple. And then you're gonna get your body mounts so you can attach the bolts back to the straps. Let's get this evap canister. All right, here's the bounties from this episode. Gonna wrap it up right now because we've got the fuel tank out, got the fuel filler out. Took the fuel filter out, even though we'll get a new one, and the evaporation canister. And boy, do we have a lot of cleanup to do. That's fine. Just a couple notes, remember any loose screws, tape them on. The pin we showed you just a while ago in the strap. 
and then try to put as many as the bolts back as you can and you've got the fuel system out. So next is really the absolute last piece on this car and that's the rear end. Now we're going to get to that. Away football game or home football game, the sun is always in our face.